Well, and I'm sure that most of you are aware by now that there's a whole lot happening on YouTube and part of it is just a bunch of our favorite channels just got demonetized and all of that is because of the actions of one thin-skinned authoritarian so-called journalist at Vox who decided that he didn't like uh, some, some, I guess, mean things that, that another creator said about him. And so he went and tried to, well, he did, he got Steven Crowder demonetized and the whole thing ended up having this domino effect where there's just been countless channels that are now either being permanently banned or they're being you know, stripped of their monetization. And so it's left a lot of us wondering, like, what can we do as as both users and if you're a if you're a creator, you know, what are some things that we can do to try to push back? And the real, the honest take or the I guess the negative viewpoint of it, there isn't a whole lot that we can do. Uh, YouTube's made it very clear that this platform is, is not about you anymore. It's about their mainstream media friends, the people they're getting a lot of money from in order to push their content to the top. And if you don't believe that, you, you can go do a search on YouTube for any news, you know, any sort of current events, and you're always going to see, you know, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, you're going to see all these sort of, you know, corporate cronies that are all at the top of the list. And the actual creators that you visit every day are going to be a few pages back. So I don't know how much we can actually do about it. but. There are, I guess, you know, some small steps that we can take to at least make ourselves feel like we're being a little more proactive, like we're being heard, you know, like we're pushing back against this clear agenda to, to push mainstream content up to the top and put independent creators, you know, independent thinkers, really just try to wipe them from the platform altogether. They, they don't want voices like mine here. And they've made that very clear. So one of the ways that as a user, I've decided to try to you know, protest this a little bit, as the title of the video states, we've gone ahead and canceled our YouTube Red account. We were paying $13 a month to YouTube for them not to show us ads. They've now decided to demonetize every channel that I watch, so there's no point in paying them anymore. With that money, we can now turn around and actually directly support some of these channels that have had a chunk, a good chunk of their income taken away. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is through uh, Subscribestar. I actually just recently opened a Subscribestar account. I'll, I'll put the link to that below. But that would be a really great way to get your money out of YouTube and, and put it towards the actual people that you want to support. And right now, they really need your support. Um, so that's, that's one thing just as a user. Uh, another, an, I would love to hear uh, your, your ideas and what your thoughts are on other steps that we could take. As a creator, uh, this is not my idea. I actually heard this the other day on Odin's movie blog. I don't know if, if you guys follow, it's a really great channel. But uh, he had the really good suggestion, if you're a creator who live streams, uh, consider actually stopping the uh, Super Chat feature on your stream and move instead over to Streamlabs. Um, the, the thing about that, I had no idea, because I've, I've never used uh, live stream. I, I try to limit how much money I give YouTube. It's why my channel's not monetized. Uh, and the one video I have that is monetized, I've actually just taken down. Um, that was against that. That wasn't my decision. That was um, the uh, the walk away march that I covered last year that actually ended up completely killing my channel because it put me on YouTube's radar. But uh, they monetize that video because it has music in it. I've taken that down, so they're not going to be able to get any more revenue from that, even though it's, you know, it's another small thing. But um, I didn't realize that when you send someone a super chat, YouTube takes 30% of that. So the actual person you're trying to support is only getting 70% of the money you're sending them. So if you're someone who enjoys doing, uh, you know, sending super chats, doing live streams, you may want to, you know, those channels that you that you love that do that, 
maybe reach out in their comment section and suggest that to them of starting starting an account somewhere else so that they're not having more of their income taken away by YouTube. Uh, so that's one option. There's also, you, know, you can support them on PayPal. Um, there's GoFundMe. There's, as I said, Subscribestar. So there's, there's other ways that you can financially send support to the creators that you love without having to put more money in YouTube's pockets. So that's sort of, you know, just a few, those are really the, the two, I think, um, most popular ideas that I've seen. I've seen a lot of people talking about uh, hashtag cancel YouTube. Um, a lot of people are canceling their YouTube Red accounts like I've done. And so that I would strongly encourage you to do that. I don't normally like to, you know, do calls to action, but I think in this case, you know, we, we need to, we're sort of grasping right now at any way that we can kind of, you know, stop this madness or at least, you know, ex explain to the higher ups at YouTube that we are real people and we want to be able to decide what kind of information we take in. And that's really what this is all about. This isn't about money. And, and so even though the suggestions I have are trying to hit them in their wallet, I think we need to, I think we need to accept the fact that they don't care. They don't care about your money. They care about your thoughts. They care about controlling what you consume. They care about controlling what you think. And so they want these independent creators off their platform. Uh, so another thing you could do is try to find those creators on other platforms. Most of these people have BitChute accounts. I have a BitChute account. I'll, I'll link to that. From a creator's perspective, I'll admit that BitChute does have its kinks. I love BitChute. I, I love them. They've been in my corner. They've been supporting me since last year when I got thrown into a, a Daily Dot article about them. And so, you know, BitChute's been there for me. They, they've promoted my work, they have supported my channel, and they've done more for me than YouTube's ever done. And sadly, my audience over on BitChute is just like so much smaller. It, it doesn't even compare. So there's, there's a lot that has to be worked out with that. And case in point, you know, full, full disclosure, I actually planned on making this video you're watching a BitChute exclusive but I tried uploading it over there on Friday and after waiting 48 hours of it just sitting in this processing limbo, I finally just had to give up and I deleted it and I've re-recorded this for YouTube. So um, it's not without its kinks, like I said, but I feel like right now we all need to start brainstorming. We all need to get together. We need to figure out some ways that we can try to push back against this and, and just do whatever we can to show that you, know, you cannot control us. You cannot dictate what we consume. You can't dictate what we watch. And so I would really love to turn this over to all of you now. I'd, I'd love to get some ideas from you. If, if there's other things that you've thought of that I didn't mention, I know I only mentioned like two ideas. So um, if you have another thought, please leave it in the comments below and I will share it. Uh, I'm really, I've been really active about this on Twitter. Uh, so if you don't follow me there and you're on Twitter, please give me a follow and just uh, give me your feedback. I, I wanna know what you think. I wanna know how you feel about this and what steps you've decided to take. And you know, I, I just, uh, to all of the creators that have had their monetization taken away, I am so sorry. Uh, all of us, you know, all of us YouTube users feel for you guys, at least all of us that believe in freedom of speech and freedom of thought. Even if we don't agree with some of you, uh, this isn't just happening to political creators. This is happening to musicians. This is happening to historians. You know, it's it's they are really cracking down on what they want you to to listen to and what they want you to watch. So we need to all come together and figure out ways that we can tell them that that's not acceptable. So I, I thank all of you for, for listening and I hope that you're all having a, a great start to your week and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below.